ever heard the saying from photographers who say, don't worry about what camera you buy, just put all your money into the lenses, put all your money into the glass and you will have great photos. Or they say things like, if you want to get a great print, it doesn't matter so much about the camera body, you know, as long as it's good, just get great lenses and your prints will be so much better. Now, in part, that's true. There are lots of truth elements to the, those statements but actually I've been giving it some thought recently and I've been doing some printing and it just makes me wonder and it makes me ask the question is it really that important to buy expensive lenses um, I don't actually think it is as much as we love to invest lots of money in beautiful lenses and you know there are lenses that we can buy that are very expensive that will produce incredible photos um, but sometimes you have to be printing at such exceptional sizes to really see the benefit of an expensive lens that the majority of people literally like most people are never going to be doing that and therefore do not need to spend oodles of money on expensive lenses look at these photos here now these pictures were taken on a variety um, of cameras with different lenses, some expensive, some stupidly cheap. And I would bet most of you actually looking at those photos wouldn't know the difference between which ones I can't. I look at them and I don't always know which ones were taken with expensive lenses, which ones were taken with um, cheap lenses. Um, and that's the point of this. You know, there are some times that I take pictures with my uh, my, my Leica Q and I'm editing afterwards and I'm seeing that picture and thinking, oh, I can just tell it's taken with the um, this Leica lens because there's quality to this lens. So there is something about the quality that I know, but then sometimes I'll be editing and I will be editing a picture that I thought was taken with the Q and actually was taken with this S Leica SL, but this lens here is like £6,000 or something if you buy it separately. This lens here is a, is a, is a £1,000, still a lot of money, but not, not £6,000. And there are sometimes I'm editing and I look at pictures from this one thinking it was taken on this one. You know, things that were slightly further away. And I think, oh, I'm really happy with that picture from the queue. <laughs> Actually, it was a Sigma lens. And it just goes to show that you don't always have to be using the expensive lenses to get the great shots. You know, you can take fantastic photos, beautiful photos that you will love and cherish with very cheap lenses. In fact, sometimes I prefer the photos taken with cheap lenses. You know, I use this GFX, the 35 to 70. It's my only zoom lens and I use it for landscapes and stuff. Um, and it's a great, a great lens, but I prefer my photos taken with a, a very old Mamaya telephoto lens that just cost me a couple of hundred pounds. You know, so you don't have to buy the GFX lenses to get great GFX photos. Sometimes with cameras like this, with the X-T1, you know, the 35 millimeter 0.95 TT Artisan lens has blown me away with its quality. And yet it is a very cheap lens and, you know, not an expensive purchase when you compare it to these other uh, these other lenses and yet it still takes beautiful photos in fact this lens here was the lens and camera i used for this photo which i really like and you know it just goes to show that it's not all about spending lots of money and that i just wanted this video to be a kind of just a reminder to everyone and to myself that actually the lens that you've got is probably good enough you probably don't need to go and spend another several hundred or thousand pounds on whatever lens you were thinking about because you probably can get just as good a results with something much cheaper. Um, you know, and then until you do start printing at very large scale, it's only then do you begin to see the, you know, perhaps the, the weaknesses of your lenses because then you start to see the edges and you start to see, you know, other things, especially when you get to billboard size, you know, you have to have used a good lens because it's there, you know, can that print stand up to the test of a big, you know, big sizes. And then you need to start using obviously bigger sensors and bigger lens and better lenses. But for the majority of what we're doing, photo books, prints that this big, you know, even this big, um, 
you really won't see a massive amount of difference between printing with something like this or something like this, you know, um, you're just not going to see a big difference. So if you are thinking about a new lens, just bear that in mind. Don't break the bank. You know, I always say just never spend money that you don't have on camera equipment. Don't go into debt over it. There are plenty of great options um, that are not expensive and you can still take incredible photos and nobody would know whether you used a GFX 100S or an X-T1 <laughs> in that photo, um, you know, with a great lens or perhaps a cheaper lens. No one's going to really know. And who cares anyway? Just take pictures and enjoy taking pictures. Um, yeah. So anyway, I hope that's helpful. Um, do check it out. Photography Made Simple. That's linked below. Um, and um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Thanks.